Hey guys, welcome back. Here to share with you my weekly um, melting gasket for uh, January 30th through the 6th, I believe. Or, sorry if I'm off. Um, it is one bender. So for the whole week, we are to melt just one bender. So I am following along, I say loosely, with Drew's um, prompts. He has a specified uh, pick for each week for January and February. So I'm not like in the group, but I am following along. So <clears throat> here we go. I did my empties, which is already posted. Um, so this starts tomorrow on Sunday and I had planned on doing this Friday, like after work, but sorry, that's a neighbor's dog barking. It is now currently Saturday night and in Arizona, it is 66 degrees. Um, I wanted to put this up a little bit earlier, but seriously, with working all day at a school and dealing, not dealing, I mean, this is my life, um, you know, with kids and they're both in separate schools. Neither one of them is at the school that I work at, a husband that travels, a dog, running a household. I, I the time just gets so away from me and, um, I don't know what's showing up on my table, but this school year, sorry, just a little rant, has been stressful and crazy and unpredictable. And the school I currently teach at, I've been there, it was five years in December. Um, I don't know, it's just m making me take a real look at, is this what I wanna do? Which is upsetting and troubling and, I don't, I don't know, it's, I know times are crazy everywhere. Um, I never stopped working from the start of COVID, they looked for people at my school that were willing to go in. And when we went back, well, we weren't even back in session um, to work with kids whose parents were like frontline workers. And of course I, I signed up and did that um, while my kids were learning from home. Um, but just seeing like a massive shift in parents, students, admin, um, the district, I, I, I don't know. I really need to step back and take a look <laughs> at one, if I'm gonna finish out the school year and two, if I'm gonna go back. Um, for the next school year. I have worked in various fields, um, predominantly in finance. And then I did work in the medical field for many years and now for education, five, um, eight years, I think. So I don't know, I just, I need to go into my job with like a love for what I'm doing and it, it's been, it's been difficult. So I'm sorry, I don't mean to, I know people get irritated with when you talk about personal life and things of that nature. So I'm gonna try not to, but being able to pick from one vendor um, definitely brought me joy just like the previous week where we got to pick favorites it was something to look forward to and to get excited about and that kind of situation so for my one vendor 
um, for this upcoming week, it is Rose Girls. Now, Rose Girls is a vendor that I have been purchasing from for a long time, but definitely very consistently for the past four-ish years, I want to say. Um, she has a full, like I have a bureau with full-size drawers. She has a full size drawer with her beautiful um, scents. Um, the other two drawers, it's just a three drawer bureau. And then of course I have other things too that take up my stashes, that take up my stash. Um, so what was I gonna say? Um, I probably have the largest collection of rose petals. Um, and I feel like sometimes, I'm sorry, that's the neighbor's dog barking, that it's not Willow. Um, I tend to neglect Rose Girls from time to time because I get other vendors in and I want to melt them and all of that kind of stuff. So, Rose Girls is my vendor that I will be melting for the week. Um, one, because I do truly love her stuff. I do get a pretty substantial scent throw from it. Now, I know that that varies like depending on what the blend is. Sometimes things are light, so on and so forth. Um, but I have found in the last couple restocks, I haven't been overly excited to purchase. And then now with the price increase and that kind of stuff, whatever, I get it. I know prices go up. I, I, I'm not knocking that but I just need to be more aware of where I'm putting my money, how things are throwing in my house, how much of a collection from a certain vendor I need. So, like I said, I probably have the most from Rose Girls. I do love her uh, scents and her blends, so I figured this is a great time to go ahead and warm the things that I've been hanging on to and not necessarily reaching for. So let's get started. Apple Eclipse. I don't have much left. Why this ever went back in, I don't know, but need to get it melted. Celtic Moon Spice. Just a really fantastic spiced. Um, to me, it's like full winter. Spices. This is a fantastic mix of coffee. Um, so I will melt some of this on its own and then also mix it with some coffee. I have campfire marshmallow, which I think was in my favorites and I just didn't get to it. You guys, the week, it just goes by so fast and with not being at home, um, it's just, it's, you know, I don't change out my wax as much to be honest um but i do love this and at one time i probably had like eight or nine bags of this so we will find something to mix that with or warm it on its own i have up north which is fresh air crisp water pine and green apples uh jasmine lily and violet this i do really like this and I have warmed quite a bit of it, um, but this was one that I put away last year and I really want to finish this up. I just don't want stuff like lingering um, in my collection for a long amount of time. This is Super Sweet Mario. I have never warmed this. It's pink sugar, royal sugar cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and cotton candy frosting. So I'm very excited to try that out. Caramel tobacco, which don't have much left. Why did that go back? Who knows? I do love this, but it's like I find myself, I like put it back and then I don't grab it again. So definitely going to finish that one up. Speechless, which was in my favorites. If you guys remember, I had several chunks of this. I'm down to one. That will get warmed for sure. Also, another one from my favorites that I put in that I did not melt. It's eggnog latte. This is fantastic. 
It is just like, a, it reminds me of a New York City bakery. Oh, it's so good. I don't get eggnog. I've already warmed through one whole um, scoop of bowl. So I really, again, I don't want to put it away because I had it last year as well. Three, three red shells, rosemary mints, Gilligan's brew, and vanilla lace, which is a, a Victoria's Secret type. I've warmed this many times before. Ugh. Picked up a bag of it during her Mario pre-order. I love, love, love this. And I don't wanna be hoarding. So need to get some warming on that. Um, raspberry sauce. I don't know. I feel like I've purchased this a bazillion times. It's beautiful. I love it. If you are a raspberry fan, get yourself some of that. Uh, Fire Mario. Never have I tried this. It's marshmallow fireside, donut holes, and espresso beans. Holy Jesus. Ugh. This is going to be slow for me to warm because I want to be home all day while this is warming. So this may be a good one for tomorrow. We shall see. Cedar and vanilla. Again, melted multiple bags of this, but you know how it is. I just, I know it's fantastic. I know it's in my collection, and yet I just don't grab for it because I'm always trying to pull or wanting to pull other things that I have not warmed. So, Slurp. I think this is the second bag from this. Um... I think it was a pre-order. It's cereal, sugar, sugar milk, and Rice Krispie Treats. This is fantastic. Um, again, we hoard. So I would like to continue on warming that. Grandma got run over by a chain shop. It's blackberry jam cookies, cotton candy, and waffle cone. I love her blackberry. It's my favorite. Um, oh, it's so good. Probably I, multiple bags of this have been warmed. So here we go with that. Um, Biologic Zen. This was in my favorites basket. I just didn't get to it. And I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's the last muffin that I have. So I need to do that. Um, Christmas Wish Twinkies. You guys, I don't even know how long I've had this one. This is like outdoorsy pine scent, but I'm definitely, this has got to go because I had it last year and I didn't warm it. Not putting it back again. A sample in Americana Peeps Cake. Peeps Cake. That's gonna go too. Snow Kingdom from the Mario pre-order um, from 2021. So it's candy canes, cool peppermint, vanilla bean noel, vanilla ice cream, and musk. And this smells so good. Oh, can't wait to warm this in my bedroom. And I purposely hung on to this one because I wanted it to cure a bit. So there's that. We have Zen, which, oh, my love for Zen. This I think I bought in the summer. And you guys, it like melted. The chunks like all melted together. I have warmed a little bit of it. Again, this is a scent that <clears throat> I feel like I've warmed a hundred times and gone through like 25 bags of it. Love it, love it, love it. I don't need to hoard it because I know it's something that is coming back. And if it performs as well as I remember, and my love affair for it is still there, I would pay the price increase for that. And then the last one from Rose Girls, I do not expect to warm all of these, finish them this week. This is Crackling Birch, and it is a warm and, wood, a warm and woodsy blend. And again, I've been through multiple bags of this. Why am I hoarding it? I like it. It's fantastic. It is a long-lasting, strong performer. 
and it's not going back with my winter wax. So that is everything, you guys, that I have for you for the Melt One vendor for a full week. Um, as usual, you will see Sensi mixed in with this when I do my empties. That's what I melt in my classroom. Um, so we'll see some other things. Plus, I will have things because I do my melting basket from Friday to Thursday. There will be a couple blends and scents that you'll see when I do my empties next time that will have things that are not Rose Girl. So that's all that I have for you this evening. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. It is Saturday. I did not plan on waiting this long, but I work full time outside of the home and I feel like once the weekend rolls around, I always tell myself I'm just going to sit back, relax and chill. But there's a million and five things that need to get done around the house and all of that. So that's why this video went up a little bit later. I filmed it later than I wanted to, but that's life. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope wherever you are, you are staying warm, that this winter weather is not getting the best of you. Uh, my mom is on the East Coast, so are my in-laws, um, and they are just getting hit, hit, and hit with the snowstorm. So please stay safe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care.